Susan leave a will at all? I don't know. Because if she did, it might help us to decide what to do for him. Yeah, well, once we've got the funeral out of the way, then we can think about what's best for Adam's future. I can't begin to imagine what you must be going through. Call me. I don't know whether it's a good thing or not, but there's so much needs doing. I've barely got time to think. I'm so sorry, Ken. I really am. Oh, hello. You sleep well? You just Uncle Peter. He's gone back to his flat to get changed. I tell you what, why don't you have some breakfast with your granddad and I'll go and get him, all right? Okay. I won't uh, be long. Thanks, thanks. So, what would you like for your breakfast? I don't believe it. It's like 300 lads in our school and not even one of them could get it together to send me a card. Oh, did you send one? No. I've gone off lads, but still, it'd be nice to get one. Anyway, what are you smirking at? No one sent you a card. Good, I'd be sick if they did. What's this? Any ideas? What's it say? Uh, it just says, love from M. Ah. We'll do that, Cooper. That one was a sack load of Valentine's for you at your proper house, eh? I'm not really bothered. Older lads think Valentine's is sad. Older lads? What, what older lads? Like Jason. Yeah, like Jason. Do you know him? He lives around the corner, doesn't he? Oh, yeah, yeah, I've seen him around. <laughs> He's so perfect. I best be off. Is it all right if I come to the cafe for me, Lauren? Yeah, yeah, of course it is. Don't forget your cold jacket, it's cold, then. Yeah. <laughs> I know, she's besotted. Why didn't you say something? What could I say? Well, you could have tried to discourage her. <sighs> Roy, she likes a boy. Well, sticking our nose in is only going to make matters worse. Oh, so we'll sit back and say nothing. He's a lot older than she, as you heard her. Older lads, they have different attitudes. I know, but what can we do? She is our responsibility. I know she is. So? So? I don't know, do I? You don't have to meet it if you don't want to. You know, I remember your mum when she... Just... Oh, 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 no, it's OK. Sorry. Just, no, it's all right. It's just an accident. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. No, sit down, Adam. Sit down. That's all right. It happens all the time here. Look, Adam, I know you're trying to be brave, but you don't have to be. I don't think I could be as brave as you in your shoes. If you want to talk about anything, you can talk to me. Can I have another drink, please? Yeah, of course you can. Oh, yeah, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. Mum's writing, yeah? Yeah. Oh, there's something wrong with that woman. It's not normal sending his son a Valentine card. Yeah, but if it were for her, you wouldn't get one, would you? Bad year for me. I only got five. Four. You got one from Mum and all. Thanks for the card, eh? In your dreams. She just don't want to let on. Is it an happy world you live in? What are you two staring at? Nothing. Go on, up it. Valentine's card. Look, David, um, they're not going to get back together. How do you know? Because I just do. Hiya! 
Hiya. Hiya. You all right? Yeah. You don't know nothing. Look, I won't pretend I know what you're feeling right now, but I do know what it feels like to lose someone you love. Where am I sleeping tonight? Where would you like to sleep? At Uncle Peter's. Well, yeah, I'm sure that'd be fine. Hiya, big man. How are you doing? Hey, you're not giving your granddad too much trouble, are you? Yeah. Hey? You all right? Yeah, yeah, we're still trying to get to know each other, aren't we? Adam was wondering if he could sleep at your place tonight, Peter. Yeah, of course he can. And I was thinking this afternoon, maybe me and you could go into town and grab her a burger and chips for tea. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, poor lad, he's been cooped up in here for days. It's time he got out and breathed in some of that local pollution. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, why don't you go upstairs and get dressed? How's he doing? It's like he's still in a daze. He's... I don't think he's really registered what's happened. Well, maybe that's not a bad thing. No, but he's got to face it sooner or later. Anyway, I think we should talk about the funeral. I think it should happen as soon as possible. There's no point in dragging it out. Was Susan religious at all? No, but, um, I think she'd like to be buried next to Mum. I was hoping you'd say that. You know, despite everything that's happened, it's meant an awful lot having you back in my life. I wish I could be saying the same thing about Susan. Yeah. Oh, I know, Dad, me too. Listen, um, if you sort out the, uh, the cemetery, I'll ring some of Susan's friends in Glasgow when I get back. Is this some of them don't uh, even know that she's gone? Yeah. I'm all right. Snap. So, um, did you say anything? No. He looks so pleased with himself. Yeah. So, what do we do now then? Well, I suppose one of us better have a word with him. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, I'll do it. Will you? Yeah, no problem. <laughs> you alright then? Yeah. Fine. You? Yeah. I'm fine. Right, well, um, let's get back to work then. We can have a proper chat later. Okay. Bye then. Excuse me, could I have a word, please? Yeah, of course you can. It's about your son, Jason. Right, what's he done? Well, nothing yet, as far as I know. It's, his, it's more uh, <clears throat> what he might do. Or, or rather, what they might do together. Sorry, you've lost me. Oh, no, it's, it's Jackie, the, the, the child we're fostering. She, she seems to have taken a bit of a shine to your Jason. Oh, I see. Well, uh, Jason does happen to be quite popular with the girls. <laughs> oh, I see. So you have experienced this sort of thing before? <laughs> oh, yes, I have experience. Good, good. So uh, <clears throat> how do we stop it? Roy? You can stop a runaway juggernaut hurtling down a hill. You can't stop two teenagers from fancying each other. Yeah, yes, but she is very vulnerable, and, and, and he is so much older than she is, so much more experienced. Well, has he done anything to encourage her? I'm, I'm not sure. They are, you see. You don't have to. Girls just see him and they want to snog him. Sometimes they get put off after speaking to him, but uh, he's a very fanciful lad, and there's not much you can do about that. Yes, but can't you speak to him? Explain the situation. Tell him to leave her alone. <laughs> I could lock him in his bedroom and handcuff him to the radiator and it wouldn't help. They're kids. That's what they do. You'll get used to it. <laughs> what are you doing? I am courting my Valentine. <gasps> oh, thanks. But he said you had a soppy look on your face. <laughs> you know, it's lunchtime. I meant to be working. Well, this isn't going to take long, baby. All I desire is your consent. Consent to what? To join me tonight at Le Canard Farsi for a romantic candlelit dinner a deux. Why didn't you tell me before? Well, what do you mean, what? Uh, Valentine's Day's today? Yeah, exactly. And I'm working tonight, selling kisses behind the bar for the Friends of Weatherfield Hospital. 
S selling what? Kisses for charity. Pound to go. Oh, thanks for my flowers, though. They're lovely. The best come through. You look like you could use a drink. <laughs> <laughs> Going to Ireland, there's nothing we can do. You've discussed this with Ireland. I thought we were going to play it by ear. I think I'll just go over and clear them dirty pots. Roy, stay here. I like to keep my tables tidy. You're looking for an excuse to lurk. I do not call keeping a protective eye on your foster child lurking. No, maybe not, but that's how it'll look to Jackie. So you're going to be about tonight, then? Well, might do. Well, uh, me and Sarah are thinking about going to the cinema, weren't we, Sarah? Oh, were we? Yes. <laughs> so, um, you can come if you want. Anyway, come on, best go. We've got, like, double English first period. Can't even be late now. Miss is living next door. I've got three periods. I'll see you later, yeah? See you later. See ya. Come on. I'll see you later. See ya. They're going now, see? What? I don't get it. Why do girls fancy you? Don't question it. You destroy the magic. Jackie fancies you like mad. Bit one of your cards is from here. Yeah. Shame she's gonna be disappointed then. Why? Do we like her? She's a kid. I'm not wasting my time hanging about with a kid. That was lurking. Oh, good news. <laughs> He's not interested. I think she's just a child, doesn't want anything to do with her. Oh, that's awful. Is it? Of course it is. <laughs> She'll be heartbroken. First love cast her aside, we barely have thought she's gonna be devastated. Just hang on, mate. I just need the little, all right? Adam, you do know there's going to be some very big changes in your life. Yeah. Well, if there's anything that you want, you talk to me or Peter or Deirdre. I want my mum. I know you do. I wish there was some way I could explain it to you, but... I suppose sometimes people are just in the wrong place at the wrong time. I mean, you know how much we love seeing you, but... I really wish you and your mum had stayed in Glasgow instead of deciding to come down here. We weren't coming here. You weren't? So where were you going? Ireland. Ireland? Why were you going to Ireland? Mum said we were going on holiday. But something was wrong. I, I could tell. Did she say what it was? She didn't tell me anything. She never liked to worry me. Was your mother upset? I don't know. Was she running away? I don't know! So, any idea who it's from? I don't know. No? Only it says, love from G. Yeah. So? So? It's from someone whose name begins with G. Oh, yeah, very good. So, that could be Gail. Could be. <laughs> now, look, David, you know that me and your mum have been getting on a lot better than we were before, yeah? Yeah. Well, maybe you'd get on even better if you just come home. Yeah, but the reason we've been getting on a lot better is because we're not living together. Excuse me a minute, Martin. I wonder if I could have a word. Well, no, not yet, Roy. It's not really a good time. It'll only take a minute. I, I, I wondered if you had any experience of dealing with a, with a heartbroken teenager. With the what? But we have reason to believe that Jackie may well have suffered a painful rejection today, and we want to do anything we can to soften the blow and rebuild her self-esteem. Oh. Well, in my limited experience with teenage girls, I'd say that they don't like to be fussed over. Best just let her get over it in her own time. Right, so leave well alone. Well alone, yeah. Thank you. All right. Hey, don't. 
stopped you. He's only trying his best. Like we're trying our best. Cancel the macaroni cheese and sticky toffee pudding. But it's your favourite tea. Yeah, well, Martin said best not to make a fuss. <laughs> Trust her to come to terms with it in her own time. Mm, right, well, me should know. Yes. Although these are unusual circumstances, I mean, she's outside of a home environment, she might be feeling more vulnerable, more isolated. And after all, it must be better to do it wrong than not to make any effort at all. So, macaroni cheese and stick it off, you're putting back up? Well, I think so. And trust me, David, if me and your mum thought we could be happy living together, then we'd do it tomorrow. It's just, we don't think it'll work. We think we're just going to make each other miserable. And then, in turn, you, Sarah and Bethany are going to be miserable. And you don't want that, do you? I just want everyone to get back together. I know you do, son. I know you do. Right, cheers. So, uh, did you get my valentine? I did, thank you. Oh, did you get mine? Yeah, thanks. Uh, what's this? <laughs> Wind him up and watch him go. It's too easy. <laughs> Do you know, I walked up to that door. I was that far away from knocking. I don't know, my son's in that house and uh, I can't see him. Hey, you did the right thing. Okay, look, he's bound to be upset and confused. Um, best thing you can do is give him time. Well, stay away. <laughs> easy to say, but it's killing me. Mike, Mike, you need something to keep your mind off this. What are you doing tonight? Hey. I don't know, it's uh, Valentine's Day. I don't know. Linda's in Leeds. She's had in meetings all day. She won't be back till late. Do you want another? Yeah. Hey! Oh, hey. Oh, oh, What's he doing here? Well, I thought we needed a pair of male lips for the younger kisses. What's the matter, Dougie? Are you scared of a bit of competition? So it's just you two, is it, this kissing thing? How many were you hoping for? Well, it's nice to have a bit of choice. You've got a choice, me or him. Oh, the passion of youth versus age and experience. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, hang on a minute, I thought we were just for the young ones, man. Oh, we don't discriminate here, son. Do we, ladies? <laughs> I like a pair of young, firm lips. Hey, what time does it start, Dougie? I've got ten pounds worth of coins in my bag. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you're going to be busy, son. On, in case she wants a bath later, it might help her relax, eh? Ah, oh, tea's all ready. She's a bit late back, isn't she? Well, she's got after school clubs tonight. Good job she's keeping busy, poor thing. There's nothing worse than rejection at her age. She's gonna feel as though the whole world's come tumbling down. Hey, uh, hello, love, how are you? I'm fine. There, there's no need to be brave, we know about Jason. What about him? Hey, you'll never guess what. What? 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 Michael Robinson asked me out. Michael Robinson? We, we thought you liked Jason. It's all right, but he's not very bright and he's too full of himself. So what's for tea? Macaroni cheese, sticky toffee pudding. Great. I'm taking a day off my diet. I'm going out after. Out? No, Jackie, it is a school night. And we don't know this Michael Robinson. It's not that we don't trust it, you. I, I was going to see my mum in the hospital. Oh, all right. Mm. Oh, well, of course you can. <laughs> right. I'll just go and get changed. <laughs> Obviously, her feelings for Jason are not as deep as we thought. I don't know about you, but this teenage romance malarkey has taken its toll on me. I suppose this is what it's like being a parent. Come on, let's have a tea. Not bad, not bad at all. Pity he had a curry for his dinner. Oh. <laughs> hey, hang on a minute, I brushed my teeth before it came out. Oh, I like to see someone taking their work seriously. Oh, hey, up. She's coming back for seconds. <clears throat> All right, come on then. It's not for me, it's for Steve. Oh, -ho! thank you very much, mate. Say all you want. Um, what are you doing? Oh, just getting him off our backs for five minutes. Come on, Steve. Come on, Steve. <laughs> Make it a double. Make it a double. <laughs> <laughs> She's very good. Keep him warm, I may be back a little bit. Are you enjoying yourself? It's for charity, it's no big deal. Yeah, sure. Well, in that case, maybe I should do my bits for charity, yeah? 
I thought it'd be worth more than a pound. Oh, no, it's not for you, it's for Toya. Hey, well, I don't want to get in the middle of the I thought it was all a bit of fun. It is. Come on, Toya, give him his kiss. Things we do for charity. <laughs> <laughs> Look at your lips up. My money is just as good as anybody else's. True. All right, true. steady now, Jenna, steady. Mm -hmm. oh, look at him go! Hey, <laughs> <laughs> not bad. I think you can do it better, though. Come on, Tiger. Oh, they make us feel so cheap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, go on, sunshine! <laughs> hey, what do you reckon, then? Hey, not bad, not oh, bad. Good, good technique, not too sloppy. I can't stand sloppy kisses. Oh, me neither. <laughs> hey, I like the young lad, though. Very good lips, supple but firm. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> so does your Les know you're coming out doing this? Not yet, but I've saved an extra quid so that when he does come in, he'll catch me kissing Sam. <laughs> oh, <laughs> drum oh, on. don't worry, love. I won't let him hurt your face. <laughs> hey, Dougie, <laughs> what will I get if I bung you an extra 50p? <laughs> A very big thank you from the friends of Weatherfield Hospital. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Ireland? What were they going to Ireland for? She was running away! According to Adam, Susan packed everything she could into the car. It's obvious what was going on. Not to me, it's not. So Baldwin was threatening legal action to get access to Adam. You know what he's like. He's a bully. Peter said she was on the verge of running away. I never thought she'd actually do it. But did Adam actually say that Susan was running away from Mike? Don't you dare stand up for him! Not this time! Adam doesn't know about Baldwin. As far as I'm concerned, he never will. My daughter is dead because of that man. I think I've lost all feeling in mine. Come on, boys. Come on, come on. I feel so useless. My son could be crying his heart out in there and I'm stuck here. I mean, I'm his father. I should be with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you go around now, you're going to make matters worse, mate. Yeah, worse for who? But I know what Barlow's saying about me in there. I just want the lad to have a chance of making his own mind up again. Oh, oh, oh. just wait here. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, there's no, a queue here. Me. All right. Ooh, Ooh, 50 quid. Mm -hmm. What would you expect for that? Maybe the next 50 quid. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, boys, these lips are closed. Waiting any longer for less. Come here. Go, Janice. Yeah. Janice, how can you do this to me? <laughs> well, we have a winner. Me and all. Sorry, love. Oh, <laughs> well done. Like I say, you can't beat experience. No one is more good news. <laughs> I've just found a fiver in the bottom of my bag. Nah. And it's all for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Well, should you be eating those? They're not slow you down. And carbolding. And what's that when it's old? Carbohydrate. Give you energy. <laughs> All right. You know, I went jogging once. Yeah? Yeah. Well, it started raining, so I went back in. <laughs> right. Hey, look, is that it again? What? You're working outside there this morning. That's Mike Baldwin. He owns the knicker factory. Oh, I thought you owned the pub. Well, yeah, that as well. Mike, now's not a good time. Look, I just want to see my son for a minute to talk. That's all. He's not here. You? Yeah, what do you want? Haven't you done enough? You can't keep Adam away from me. I've got rights, you know. Is this what you did to Susan? Banging on doors, bullying your way in, throwing around threats and accusations? Ken, come inside. Mike's just going. Yeah. Come on, let's get you up. I'm not going anywhere. You married her to spite me, and now, because of you, she's dead. What? Susan crashed that car because she was upset, because she was angry, because she was running away from you. If you had a single ounce of compassion and understanding, she'd still be alive. 
As far as I'm concerned, you killed my daughter! Is that what you told my son? Are you listening to this? He's poisoning his mind against me! Ken, come inside, please. I'm not going anywhere! Whatever it takes, I will see my son! Come on. Let's get you. What are you looking at? Come on, go home, OK? Go home.